Hey guys, I want to talk about another question we have quite commonly is uh, how do you identify if your dog has whipworms? We'll go ahead and tell you right now guys that whipworms is basically a worm that your dog can get uh, generally through ingestion. It can be through the food or through some raw meat or something of that nature or can even catch it from another dog that's close by. Now anything that I tell you guys on this stuff I go ahead and I go on WebMD, um, PetMD actually excuse me and I print off this stuff so I'm telling you the facts of what they tell me. Um, if, you, if you're you skeptical about any of it you can look this stuff up for yourself so how do you tell that your dog has whipworms well one of the telltale signs is if your dog has a bowel movement that has blood in it you have more than likely have whipworms and you need to get your dog to the vet immediately and basically what it does is it causes the dog to bleed from the bowels and so your dog is going to get anemia it's going to be dehydrated and it's going to have weight loss and if left untreated whipworms will kill your dog so what you need to do you need to get your dog to the vet the vets uh, if you can take the stool sample with the blood or the most recent stool sample you can wrap it in tinfoil i've done this many times it's gross but you gotta do what you gotta do for the health of your dog take the stool sample with you um your vet is going to test that stool sample and they may even send a you know test your dog and try to pull a sample from the bowels of the dog they're going to look it underneath a microscope and if they see whipworms or whipworm eggs basically they're going to give you a prescribed medication you can only get from the vet and uh, generally if you catch it early enough i mean two or three days your dog is doing fine but they'll tell you exactly what you need to do as far as giving this medication how many days and how often and uh, like i said most time you catch this your dog bounces right back and you're good to go but if it's left untreated, your dog could die. Now remember guys, blood in the stool is a sign of whipworms and it is an immediate danger and you need to take care of it and take care of it proper. So I hope you guys found this informative. If you will, click like, subscribe. If you haven't already, tell your friends about it. It's Life Kennel. We're just trying to help educate, entertain, and involve houndsmen one video at a time. So we appreciate you. We love you. In the meantime, in the next video, treat one for me.